Hey, hello, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to EU4 as Vigianigar episode 3, I'm pretty sure. And I apologize, first and foremost, I'm probably sounding incredibly. S <coughs> exactly. Sounding incredibly sick. That's. Yeah, exactly what just happened there. So, yeah, I'm probably sounding incredibly sick, and that's because obviously I am incredibly sick, and I wasn't really planning on recording EU4. But I think I do kind of want to get through this let's play as soon as possible because me being a complete idiot, I decided that, you know what, I'm going to hold off my Great Britain game and start a let's play and then finish my Great Britain game. And meanwhile, I'm still on like an older version of EU4 than I'd like to be on. And then I started another game, but at least I'm almost halfway through that one. So, <clears throat> right, I'm going to be trying to get through as much of this as I can in the next couple of days and, you know, trying to finish this game as quickly as possible. It's 1461, which means we haven't actually gone that far into the game, not even 20 years yet. So let's see what we can kind of get done in the next, you know, maybe half an hour, which is kind of less than two episodes, maybe 40 minutes. 40 minutes sounds kind of nice to me. Also something you may or may not have noticed, the interface kind of looks different because I did get a higher resolution monitor and it works much, much better than my old one. My old one was actually 720p, which I'm not going to say it isn't embarrassing, but I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not what you kind of want for recording on YouTube, but eh, you know, it's not, it worked fine for a little while, but over time you're sort of like, uh, I don't know. Now you guys did have very helpful comments on the EU for Reddit, the subreddit, and on the um, first or second video first second video that I uploaded for this and that is that I am not being aggressive enough now I'm looking at my aggressive expansion and obviously Bahamanis hates me and you know <coughs> sorry so how many people would actually join a coalition against me right now so there's Bahamanis who may or may not but they have a truce with me so I don't think they can yeah not quite not for at least another year but I'm kind of betting that they're they, that they might probably my story cannot Cochin cannot, Vinod, Madurai, they cannot. Now, that's kind of spelling out some good good news for me. If it's just Vijayanagar, and I mean, one of my favorite things to do in the world is anyone who's going to join a coalition against you, basically, if you kill them, they can't join a coalition against you. So, sounds good. What we're going to be doing first, probably, is uh, what somebody recommended, which was to buy mercenaries, because I'm not going to pretend I didn't completely forget that, forgot that, like, I didn't completely forget, is what I'm trying to say that those existed in this game. Like, <laughs> when he said, hey, just buy some mercenaries, something just clicked in my head, and I'm like, oh, right, those exist in this game. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing next. And <clears throat> I'm also going to be trying to, I think, take down Ceylon, which I may or may not have a claim on, which I do not. Mm, great. Okay, so Matarai here. Do I have a claim on them? I do not, but they are allied with Mysore and Ceylon. I don't know why I'm pronouncing these really weirdly. I'm probably pronouncing them all incorrectly, but just bear with me here. So Vinad is probably the, you know, <clears throat> the next person I'm gonna go and take down. We're gonna be start start to uh, covert actions on them. We have. Hmm. Why am I improving relations with you? And what am I doing here? Target target threats. Well, there aren't really too many threats. There isn't really like a regional power that can take me down right around here. But there are like a whole bunch of people. I mean, there's Malwa, who's my friend. So, I mean, I do have something there. And Malwa is actually a good friend of mine. And Cochin is actually my vassal, which I completely forgot about. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> so there's another uh, issue I have to address, which is going to be the institution. Obviously, it's nowhere around here. And I'm thinking I'm not going to wait for that to, to, to come here. That's going to take way too long. That's stupid. So what am I going to hit here? Which is like easiest to develop? I mean, I don't really want to move it over to here, my capital. Because that's right up next to, um, that's right next to Bahamanis. Although Bahamanis isn't the biggest issue. Uh, that's not going to be a problem, is it? No, it's not going to be a problem yet. It's going to be a problem later, probably. Stability has to be three. I need to have Cochin, I need to have uh, Vinad, I need to have Vilanadu. So basically... Uh, I was told to push for Barat because you can basically pay off every single loan that you're ever going to take as long as you just start taking everyone down. So that means I'm going to... 
obviously take down Venal, I'm going to be taking down Matarai as well, so I might as well start covert action on them as well. Which means, yeah, I'm going to take those guys down, and what is that? In Muar. Why was I doing that? What would I do that for? Muar. Muar, Muar, Muar. What are you? You are. You are right here. Right. I don't know. I don't know how I like missed this whole thing. I think I was looking for another ally. I think that's what I was doing. And it looks like I'm basically succeeding here. So let's bring down speed four and let's just see how things are going to go here. So obviously I want to ally them probably. I'm thinking unless I just had a mission for that. Right. Yes, I did just have a mission for that. And I'm already I'm at two out of three. I'm not going to be getting any more vassals really so I'm just gonna go ahead with the alliance here sounds very nice just a little bit of extra protection and I don't think they have any provinces that I'm going to need to form Barats so that's gonna be just fine as for these ships these are five barks and hmm I suppose they could just continue protecting trade and such in Ceylon since you know I'm not an expert at trade and I completely forget what most things in trade do except you know Protect your home notes, basically what I get out of most out of most uh, tutorials. Manpower recovery speed, you know that could uh, that could actually be something I could do. It's not it's not recovery speed, but you know recover the manpower. It's something I could probably end up doing. But in North Konkin, which is over here, if I declare war, which I'm not going to do because you know there's Blukistan and Blukistan is right there and rather large. But I'm sure Muar, my new helpful ally, and possibly Malwa, who could be a good friend of mine, will help me out and take down Gujarat later on. Uh, I think if I can afford an advisor, nope, no, no discipline, guys. So there's really no point. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, build up a couple of a couple of mercenaries now. Uh, I did look at a small guide to um, army composition, and I mean, I really do not need more than four cavalry right now, because I'm pretty sure that's my maximum flank. My flanking... Ooh, where's that? Where's that? Somewhere here. Pretty sure there's like a flanking um, efficiency or something. And it's probably there somewhere. I'm probably just missing it. It's fine. I'm going to be building up some more mercenaries. Basically up to my combat width, or to my, um, so my combat width, or my, uh, force limit. That's what I'm trying to say, but I just can't speak. Uh, let's, you know, move, move them over, you know, spread them out a little bit, so we can go a little bit faster. Catch against Gujarat. I'm going to take that just because I can finish it so quickly. Boom, done, fantastic. Recruitment time's also down, and I think I got something else, but whatever. So they really want me to take North Konkin, and uh, I'm thinking maybe not right now, but it seems to me that I don't really have much of a choice in terms of, in terms of, um, you know, missions. So I guess that's what we're gonna be doing, or at least we're gonna let the mission system be happy and stuff, and we're gonna do that for them. I mean, not actually do it for them, but you know, we're going to take a mission for them. So that, um, spy network is getting done. I don't want to remember them. Nope, 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 I want to build spy network in Madurai. Uh, maybe I want one in Ceylon instead. Because Madurai is fairly simple to take. Yeah, maybe not Madurai. Maybe instead in Ceylon, I'm thinking. And then we're just going to bring it up to speed 5 and let it do its thing. Mm, Cochin, who is my vassal, yes, surely that will be just fine. Also, apparently, have a couple of buildings that are about to pop, and I really like watching to see. Yeah, there you go. That's like 1.2 ducats. That I just got increased by, and that's fantastic. So we can also start uh, recovering our manpower. As we are... Oh, hold on. I have a merchant in here, don't I? I do not. I am lying. I have one in Bengal. Who is moving it over to Ceylon. 
but I also do not have a lot, so I might actually just want to collect from trade there, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that might be a better option than, uh, than what I was doing before. That's fine. Because transferring a little bit, but it, I'm pretty sure, loses its value as it gets traded over. And in Joa, I believe, I mean, I'm earning a fair amount because I do have the uh, Goa or Joa, the uh, Coastal Center of Trade, the only one uh, in, you know, my access area, which is just fine. But if I did have a merchant down here, I could, you know, um, build a spy network faster because I do have, uh, actually, I don't even need to have majority of trade. That's for uh, propagating religion, so... Yeah, that's fine. Getting close to getting that claim on Vinad. Okay, beautiful. We're gonna go here, we're gonna move our troops here. We're gonna bring down to speed four. I wait about a month till the first of November. Fantastic. Give me a little bit of an autosave, and basically I now have a reason to go to war. It apparently already had that, so maybe I should have just paid attention or something, because Cochin already had that. I definitely should have paid attention to that. I'm actually just stupid. Hmm. Oh well, I suppose it'll just be fine. So, I'm gonna get a crossing penalty, but it's not gonna be a huge issue. Look at that, because they, they were kind of out of morale anyways, so... Attach the siege there. You do not have any siege pips, so that does not matter, but I'm going to leave. Mercenary there. Actually, if I can make these all mercenaries. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I need to split 4,000 off, right? Oh, thank you for organizing that by mercenaries. Whatever. Doot, doot, and doot sounds very, very nice. Uh, select this unit and then select that, and boom. We're good. I don't know why I did it like that. Just. It's fine. I forgot I even had, like, ships that were supposed to do a thing. These ships will be just fine, right? It's yeah, it's it's two it's two things. It's it's fine. Just things. Yes. Things. Why do I still have these heavies? Do I need these heavies? I could probably keep these heavies, if I'm gonna be honest. No, it's fine, it's a little mothball. I am losing a little bit of money, but uh, as I was told before, obviously I can make that money back and I can drop these down. That may just end up being random cuts in the video. I'm not even, I'm not even sure because I'm not, you know, constantly looking at where my uh, where my recording's at. I also forgot to look at a clock when I started, so I have no clue. Now, when it comes to Ceylon, obviously you are allied with Madurai, so complicated things are gonna happen here. First of all, fabricate queen here. Let that spy network build itself back up. I can probably get a spy network going on in here as well. Oh, you are allied with Bahamanis. You are the problem child, okay. Right. Bahamanis, who wasn't doing fantastic, would still kind of be a pain to deal with. Mm. Right. So these guys, I'm actually just going to have them sit right there because that siege is not full. Gain prestige or yearly prestige, yearly legitimacy. So, my prestige is doing kind of all right. My yearly legitimacy is kind of all right. I might just take the prestige. Um, I had a train of thought going on in my head, but I don't remember what it was before. Before I said that, which kind of sucks. Right, it was something about getting uh, the Renaissance, Renaissance of my country. Now the best thing I can do right now, well, what am I going to be going for? I am focused on admin. I do want to get national ideas, probably for some sort of admin thing. Speaking of which, can I just grab some admin? No, I cannot. That's a big rip. It should be alright though. And of course, mercenaries, although they take a little bit of money, they're not wasting my manpower if they're sitting on there. Taking a little bit of attrition, so it's fine. You are, you're my friend, yes, yes. So let's let's have royal marriages. That sounds fine.
This is taking its time. You know what? I should just I should bump it up to speed of five. Just have to go quickly. There we go. Theater Vinod is over. Vinod, basically, they have medium only because they're being a pain in my butt. <clears throat> However, I'm going to want to move this over to Cochin. Yes, Cochin. And basically, we're going to be giving that to Cochin because I don't want to court that. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to have to spend my power points. No, 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 no. We can make our vassals do that for us. No, 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 no. It's fine. And when it comes to declaring war on these guys, I kind of want to split my army in half. Have half of them here and have half of them on the other side. There are more men here. So I'm thinking I might just do something like that. Oh, I like looked at that and I'm like, whoa, that's that's ridiculous. That can't be that much money. And it wasn't. I was just... Yeah. Oh, okay, you actually lost your friend of Matarai, so, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Uh, yeah, we can be good friends there. We can be good friends here, uh, Matarai, before I, you know, kill you, but, yeah, 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 yeah. sounds good. Actually, really, really helpful tip that, uh, they told me to grab some mercs, because, you know what, I probably wouldn't have done that, I've just completely forgotten that mercenaries existed. Probably until the end of time. Where's that? That is a level 1 fort, so I can just split off 4 people. Just mercenaries. And we're gonna send one guy. Hopefully in the mercenary if we can. Well, it doesn't look like we can actually get enough people for that, so we're gonna send him over there. And we should be just fine. When it comes to Matarai, you, allied with my sore. I'm going to start um, spy networking you. Great, we can send these guys over here again. Okay, sounds good. These ships do have to repair for a little bit though. So we're not going to get the uh, siege bonus for that, but it's not going to be positive. Anyways, well when it's positive, you know, we just want the higher bo boost, because let's be honest, we're you know, a player playing, so we're not going to get it on a 7%, we're not going to get it on a 14%, let's be honest. Uh, if one more taken, we should be good. Okay, let's send him back over there. Boom, done. Great. Except we're going to be feeding it to Jaffna, because we don't want to core this either. I can't be bothered to, to core all these things. No, no, no. I have vassals. I have vassals for these reasons. Just hand them to the vassals. It's fine. It's fine. Coalition, you say? Nah, that's just Bahamanis. It's not a coalition. It's it's just pathetic. It's fine. All right, so we're gonna be heading those two over to Jaffna. They're gonna be coring it for us. And bada bing, bada boom, we are done. Done in that island. And send them over to here. Uh, I suppose I can keep protecting trade because I only have one person left to slaughter at the bottom isles here. Come over to Ceylon. Trade admin. Prestige. Well, I kind of like my admin power, I gotta say. Even though I'm not, like, using it for anything, I still like it. I, I, yeah, I still like it. Let's mothball these just for a little while, just until we can, um, actually get that claim. Orissa has declared war on Bahamanis. Now, if you take anything that I need, we're gonna have a couple issues here. Just, just a few. Just a couple. I'm gonna decline because I kind of I kind of like you, but like not like not enough. So yeah. Let's just let's just see what you do here. Who who are you against? You're fighting against Arisa, Garjat, and Chandra. Chanda or Chandra? What was that? Chanda. Who's gonna be gaining some of your problems is probably. I'm just checking on my spy network there. Looks like we are approaching what we need to get that claim. And look at that, our manpower is slowly recovering, which is fantastic. It's a good thing I did take that advice for the mercenaries. Heavily, heavily appreciated. Thank you very much. And the first thing uh, hmm, hmm. I don't know. Oh, it's December, so I'm going to take this before it costs me too much. Uh, speaking of which, I'm not sure if you can switch duties yet. 
Uh, is that a 10 year thing? Is it a less than a 10 year thing? I'm not entirely sure. <coughs> Sorry. So, when it comes to ideas, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to want to go for. Like, playing in India is something I've never done before, so I'm not sure if I want to go straight into quantity, or if I want to go into quality. I mean, I'm going to check the ideas that we, we're going to be getting, which is cavalry combat ability. Um, infantry combat ability, so basically our combat abilities are already going to be, you know, pretty good. We're going to be getting discipline as well at the end, which is fantastic. So... I'm thinking we might want to go into something like quality ideas as well. We're going to be getting um, cavalry and combat, com yeah, infantry and cavalry combat ability, like, even more. So that's going to stack quite nicely. Not to mention at the end we do get even more discipline, so if we have the deity and we have, um, and we have our idea, our final, um, tradition, Vijayan Garden tradition, or Indian traditions, whatever it is, we're going to be getting plus, like, 15 discipline not to mention we're probably gonna go into offensive ideas which is plus 20 percent discipline which is absolutely ridiculous so that's gonna be great um so i'm thinking quality ideas would be something uh that would be kind of great now another thing we could do is go into economic ideas because we're gonna be throwing ourselves into a ton of debt but later on uh this was gonna be really really helpful so i'm not entirely sure what should we take what should we take Influence ideas, again, is great as well, but when it comes to playing in uh, India, I was told that you don't really have to worry about aggressive expansion for um, for Hinduism. It's basically just Islam and Christianity is uh, the two things that are really going to, you know, give you a whole bunch of aggressive expansion. So, I'm still thinking, I'm sort of, sort of leaning towards quality again because, you know what, let's just go for it. Ah, you know, but I also want, you know, to get into, you know... Indonesia and stuff, so I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. I'm thinking that we put a cut in and we decide next episode because let's just take a look at what time we're at for our current episode. Wow, that is 22 minutes, which is almost exactly perfect. So it looks like we're going to be cutting a, putting a cut in here, not cutting a putt. We're going to be putting a cut into this video right here, and I'm going to see you all next time. Have a good one.